guys, welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to show you my wrap up of the month of March. So all the books I read in the month of March. First off, before we start, let me say two things. First, I'm not wearing any makeup. I hope I'm not looking that bad. Um, but I filmed this video yesterday already, but I was in a rush and the video didn't turn out the way I liked it. So I decided to refilm it today and I didn't feel like putting on makeup. So here we are. The second thing is, I'm having trouble with putting pictures in my videos because I've not yet found a program with which to do this on Windows and on my iPhone I do have a program but it only lets me um, edit videos up to 10 minutes of length so this doesn't really work for me. I decided to simply hold up my iPad into the camera with the picture. I hope that's okay for you if you do know of any programs for either Windows or iPhone with which I can edit my videos better please let me know preferably um, free ones though and yeah that's it. So for the month of March I've read all of the books I had on my TBR well there was one which I started and then DNF'd but all the others I finished in the end, I finished 11 books in the month of March, three of which I had already started in a different month. I listened to two audiobooks, read two paperback books, and all the other books were ebooks, which I read on my Kindle. And I think that as for ratings, I had books that, or one book that I rated one star, and I also had books that I rated five stars. So in this month, I had every rating on the scale. So yeah, pretty interesting month for me. If you want to know any more details about the books, I'll leave my wrap up blog post down below so you can check it out where I wrote down everything about the publishers and stuff like that. And I also have a review for all of the books I'm showing you up on my blog and on Goodreads, which I will both link as well as an Amazon link where you can buy the book. And that's it. So let's start with the first book that I did not start in March but finished in March. And it's Carry On by Ryan Bow Rowell. For this book I also have a video review up on my channel so you can check that one out as well. And it's pretty much a Harry Potter retelling and I really liked it, I rated it 4 stars and I would recommend it to anyone to read this. Pretty much all the books that are rated 5 or 4 stars I would recommend to you because they were all amazing. Then my 1 star books was Fairies Kristallblau by Stephanie Dehm which is a German contemporary fantasy book and it isn't available in English yet so I'm not really going to talk about it but I did but I really did not like this book and therefore rated it one stars and I got it off of NetGalley. I also got two other books off of NetGalley um, which were YA contemporary fantasy from German author, authors so I'm not going to talk about them either that much but one of them was Demon Hearts and Angel Wings and I rated this one two stars. And the last one was Chosen, which I rated 3 stars, and it is by Lena Fischer. And, and I learned my lesson, I'm not going to request any German contemporary fantasy books off of NetGalley anymore, because obviously I'm not going to get along with them. Yeah, what you gonna do? The last book I started um, in February and finished in March was an audiobook, and it was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. And then I also listened to an audiobook, um, A Court of Mist and Fury, again by Sarah J Maas. And I love both of them. I can't wait for A Court of Wings and Ruin. I rated A Court of Mist and Fury four stars. No, A Court of Thorns and Roses I rated four stars. And A Court of Mist and Fury I rated five stars. Because I like Farah better in the second part. I prefer Recent over Tamlin like so, so much. And yeah, I just, I love the inner circle and I just... I love the Court of Mist and Fury and I can't wait for the Court of Things and you ruin, ruin, ruin. That's a hard word for me to say, but whatever. Let's get on with the show. The first five star books that I booked that I read um, in the month of March was The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski and I absolutely love this book. Another high fantasy um, YA book and it's just, it was amazing. I can't wait to finish the series or to read the next two books in the series. And it just, it was so amazing. I loved our main character. I loved the romance in it. I loved the twists and it was amazing. Then I read Alchemists of Loom by Elise Kova and I rated this one four stars. It's a steampunk inspired, I'm not sure if it's high fantasy or sci-fi or even dystopian because the people on Loom, I think they could be kind of a post-apocalyptic human race, but I'm not sure about that, so I'm not sure how to classify this book, but it's really amazing. As I said, I rated it four stars. I'm really looking forward for
for the series to be continued and to know what's going to happen. I like the characters, I like the relationships between the characters. Um, I also really like the steampunk inspired world and it was just really amazing. Then I read Rebel of the Sands by Elvin Hamilton, the first part in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy and I'm really looking forward to starting Traitor to the Throne, hopefully today. And um, I really like this one, I rated it 4 stars. It takes place in this kind of Arabic inspired world but it's combined with like a western world but not just a regular western world but the like American western like the cowboys and stuff. Well they are not cowboys but that kind of world I'm not sure how you would say it in English. And I really like the combination of those two worlds. Obviously the Arabic or Arabian inspired part is more pronounced but yeah it's a lot of attention on guns for example which is more of kind of the western part of the story and it's really great it's about this girl Amani who to break free of the little village she lives in because she has no perspective there and um, instead of getting to the like main city or whatever where she wants to go, she gets swept up in a rebellion and it's really great, I really liked it. Then I read The Sin Eater's Daughter which I rated 4 stars. I really really enjoyed myself reading this book but I did not feel like it had much of a plot and I did not like Twilla, the main character, so I only rated it 4 stars but I really really enjoyed myself reading it and therefore I decided once I was finished with all the books on my TBR and there were just a couple more days in a month, I decided to pick up The Sleeping Prince. And The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury is the second part in the trilogy and I like this a lot more. I rated it 5 stars and it's just I like the main character a lot more. There was a plot and in general I like this book a lot more and I can't wait to read the third volume in the series. I don't really want to I don't really want to talk about those books and what they are about because as for the first book because of the lack of plot, I don't really know what to tell you and I can't really tell you anything about the second book without spoiling the first book, so yeah. But they are really good and if you kind of missed the plot or didn't like the main character in the first book, I would really recommend you read the second book because it is so much more. It's, it's way better. I would really recommend it. And um, The Sleeping Prince, I actually... Um, finished on the 1st of April but I decided to still put it into my March wrap up because I read um, Sinead's Daughter in March and it's just it was one day so I decided just put it in here because once it's the end of April I probably forgot most of this book so yeah as for the two other books I started in March but did not finish I have already finished them as I said but I will talk about them in my April wrap up and that's pretty much it. I would be happy if you left me any kinds of comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.